सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स करिकुलम बेस्ड सीरीज ध्वनि शाला सो लेट्स ज्वाइन इन ध्वनि शाला क्लास टू हेलो चिल्ड्रन हाउ आर यू आई एम योर फ्रेंड वरदा आई एल बी टॉकिंग टू यू इन इंग्लिश इट्स फन टू टॉक इन इंग्लिश डिफिकल्ट नो not at all and i promise you if you listen carefully you will understand all that i say i'm sure you remember last year when you were in class 1 how you would go to school as you know you cannot go to school right now because of the corona virus but don't worry after some time schools will reopen you will be so happy to go back to school to meet a new teacher play with your friends and learn so many new things tell me how do you reach school do you go in a school bus do you get into an auto rickshaw with other children do you go on a two wheeler with your parent do you walk to school Oh too many questions you may say that is because there are so many ways of going to school today we will meet haldi a sweet little girl of your age she was walking to school as usual one day as she moved along the path looking at the green grass and the brown trees and the blue sky and the grey road she suddenly saw a giraffe yes a giraffe of course you know what a giraffe is it is a tall animal very very tall it is yellow in color with big brown patches it has long legs a long neck and a long tail well to give you an idea of the giraffe uh, let me see do you know your height stand against a wall yes do it stand against a wall and put your hand flat on your head put your hand flat on your head so that your finger touches the wall now without moving your finger carefully turn around yes that's your height and that is how tall you are just imagine the giraffe's neck is as much as your height so you have to look up up and up to see the giraffe's face that is just what haldi did she looked up and saw that the giraffe was holding a book she was very surprised then she raised her face to look a little more up and saw the giraffe's face oh my the giraffe was wearing big glasses you know specs on his eyes haldi kept on staring at the giraffe in surprise the giraffe smiled at haldi good morning he said now haldi knew just as all of you know that she should also say good morning to him like you in class 1 she had also learnt to say good morning but oh said haldi i'm sorry to stare but i have never met a giraffe on the way to school i mean i have never met any giraffe my name is smiley said the giraffe when you see me you will smile haldi was happy she smiled at the giraffe then she remembered something oh she said 
I have to go to school. I would love to talk to you, Smiley. But if I stop to talk, I will be late for school. No, no, said the giraffe. You can talk for a minute or two. Then you can climb on my back. I can run very fast. I can take you to school very quickly. All right, said Haldi. What do you want to talk about? Do you go to school every day? Asked the giraffe. Yes, said Haldi. I go to school on Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays and Fridays. And on Saturdays, I play games at school. Oh my, said the giraffe. You go to school every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. What do you do there? I learn so much, answered Haldi. I learn about the trees, the stars, the sky. I learn about animals, birds and people. I learn how to speak, read and write. That's good, said the giraffe. It's fun to learn. Now jump on my back. I will take you to school. Haldi jumped up and sat on the giraffe's back. Now an elephant's back is somewhat flat. You can sit on it easily. You can sit comfortably on a horse's back too. But a giraffe has a sloping back. If you are not careful, you will begin to slip and slide down, down, down. But Haldi was careful. She sat on the giraffe's back, holding his long neck with both hands. The giraffe started moving on the road. Oh, with his long legs he could go so fast. Haldi looked down and found she could see so many things. It was fun to see everything from the top. In no time they reached the school. Haldi climbed down carefully. She picked up her school bag and turned back to say Thank you. But what is this? The giraffe had disappeared. Oh, thought Haldi, looking here and there. What a wonderful adventure I have had. So that was how Haldi reached school that day. Imagine how wonderful it would be if you could reach school like that. And if you could choose an animal or bird on which to go to school, which one would it be? Hmm, a horse? A horse can go quite fast. I think I would like a zebra. It's just like a horse but with black and white stripes all over. How all my classmates would stare! Even the teachers would stop to look. Or maybe a camel. Up, down, up, down, up, down on a camel's back. Oh, I know. It should be an eagle flying high in the sky, above the trees, above the clouds and suddenly swooping down to the school below. That would be really exciting. So, when Haldi was sitting on the giraffe's back, she found that she could look down and see so many things. Of course, these are the same things that she would see every day. The trees, the houses, the road, the buses and cars. But what fun to see them from the top. The same things would look so very different. The top branches of the trees where birds build their nests. 
the rooftops of homes where clothes are put out to dry where wheat or bajra or red chilies are spread out on large sheets to dry in the sun and what else could she see tell me yes the top part of buses which i have never seen and the road that looks like a long long grey ribbon and when you get down from your elephant and your friend gets down from a camel be sure to smile at each other and say hello when you see teachers or the principal be sure to smile and say good morning and what do you say when you return something if you have used your friend's color pencil or a ball or a book and you return it then you say with a smile thank you so children use the magic words good morning or good afternoon good night and also the words please and thank you these are magic words because they make everyone happy and like the giraffe smiley said you will all smile now can we do a fun activity i'll say something that did not happen in the story then you tell me what really happened and these words are called opposites so let's start one night haldi was going to school oh no 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 that's not correct is it you don't go to school at night so what should i say right i should say one day haldi was going to school so night and day are opposite words did you understand okay now the next sentence listen carefully haldi got up late in the morning no haldi got up early in the morning that's right late and early these are opposite words shall we look at one more sentence from the story yes haldi forgot that she had to go to school that's not right is it haldi remembered that she had to go to school so forgot is the opposite of remembered now next haldi climbed up the giraffe's back and later haldi climbed down the giraffe's back so which are the opposites here that's right up and down so so far which are the opposites that we have learned night the opposite is day up the opposite is down late the opposite is early and forgot the opposite word is remembered very good now some more sentences the giraffe had small glasses on his nose no 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 of course not the giraffe had big glasses on his nose so the opposite of small is big very good next we have the sentence the giraffe had a long neck and long legs and a long tail and what's the opposite of long think children yes short so the sentence would be the giraffe had a short neck and short legs and a short tail <laughs> imagine a short giraffe no no that's not possible haldi was unhappy to see the giraffe no again haldi was happy to see the giraffe so unhappy and happy are opposite words let's repeat the opposites day the opposite is night up the opposite is down late the opposite 
is early big the opposite is small forgot the opposite is remember yes long the opposite is short and happy the opposite is unhappy so let's learn a few more opposites shall we in the toy car is in the box and what do you do you will take out the toy car from the box so in and out are opposite words now we'll join something to the word in and we'll also join something to the word out again these will be opposites two new opposite words inside and outside very good so i am playing inside the house i should not play outside the house i'm sure you understood that children now let's look at another pair of words full and empty my sister gave me a cup full of orange juice i like orange juice i drink the juice and now the cup is empty ask these opposite words to your parents and let's see if they can answer you say it with me once more day night up down late early big small remembered forgot long short happy unhappy in out inside outside full empty okay now pick up your pencil and listen to me you have to think of a word only think not write just now but keep your pencil and paper ready for the first word think of a fruit i want you to think of a fruit that is small it is green or purple it grows in a bunch small green or purple bunch which fruit is that yes grapes now i want you to write down only the first letter only the first letter of grapes which is that letter the letter g write it down please for the second word i want you to think of something that is cold icy and tasty is your mouth watering you eat it in summer and sometimes also in winter it comes in many colors white brown pink all children love it cold icy tasty many colors so what is it ice cream wonderful so what is the first letter of ice cream the letter i write it down next to g yes for the next word think of an animal a small animal a cute animal with big ears it has a short round tail it is white or brown or gray or black oh my goodness you guessed it right the animal is rabbit and the first letter is r for the next word think of a fruit again it is red in color sometimes some are green and some are yellow but generally it is red apple i knew it and the first letter is a very good write it down moving on for the next word think of an animal quite small green in color a green animal it can swim in water it can hop on land yes it's a 
it's a frog my clever children so the first letter of frog is f write that also down please next we have a word for something that swims in water lives in water breathes in water and cannot live out of water aha fish the first letter again is f not bored are you one last word a big animal gray or black in color with a long nose yes elephant the first letter of elephant is e now let's put it all together the first one the first letter of grapes g next to it the first letter of ice cream was i and then you had rabbit r the next word was apple so you have written a and then moving on to the next word you have written f the first letter of frog and again another f the first letter of fish and lastly we have e the first letter of elephant so what have you spelt g i r a f f e giraffe that's right you have written giraffe so as we have seen in the story haldi was not late she reached school in time children when you go to school how do you know that you have reached in time yes the school bell after you have entered the school gates if the school bell rings it means you were in time but if you hear the school bell when you are still outside the school gate oh my goodness you are late how does your school bell sound go on say it loudly how does your school bell sound tan 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 that was fun okay different bells make different sounds have you heard the sound of a church bell if there is a church near your house listen carefully on a sunday and you will hear it it sounds like this and how about a doorbell do you have a doorbell at your home how does it sound does it say ting tong or does it have more music in it like this oh and have you seen in villages in the evenings the cows returning home at sunset the bells on the necks of the cows make such a beautiful sound like this and who can forget the jingling sound made by the tiny bells around a horse's neck if ever you sit on a tonga or a horse carriage any time be sure to listen to the sound of the horse's feet as well as to the sound of the tiny bells that sound like this and of course the ringing of the telephone the landline i mean the big black phone which goes trn 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 like this but the best sound is the sound of the school bell in the afternoon again it goes tan 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 as if the bell is happy that school is over for the day
बाय चिल्ड्रन स्टे एट होम एंड स्टे सेफ यू आर जस्ट लिसनिंग टू करिकुलम बेस्ड प्रोग्राम्स ध्वनि शाला प्रोडक्शन असिस्टेंस मीनाक्षी कुकरेती तनु गुप्ता एंड जगबंधु जाना रिकॉर्डेड बाय बटी लैंग लिंगडो एंड प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय अजीत होरो दिस प्रोग्राम वाज ब्रॉट टू यू बाय सीआईईटी एंड सीईआरटी न्यू दिल्ली इंडिया